Hi everyone, welcome to the FarmBot software video series. In this series of videos, we're gonna talk about all of the different aspects of FarmBot software so you can control and configure FarmBot to take care of your garden exactly how you want. So let's get started. So the primary piece of software we're gonna be talking about today is the FarmBot web app. So because our application is web-based, it can be loaded up on any modern web browser on any modern device, such as a desktop computer, a laptop, a tablet, or a smartphone, either iOS or Android. Whenever you wanna open up the app, simply navigate to my.farm.bot in your web browser, and the app will be loaded. Every time the app is loaded, it's gonna load the latest version with all the newest features and the latest security updates. So you never have to worry about uh, installing or updating the web application yourself. So when you first navigate to the app, if you don't have an account yet, you're gonna be shown the login and create an account screen. To create an account, simply scroll down to the create an account box, enter your information, including your email and creating a password, and press the submit button. Once you submit the information, we'll send you an email with a link to verify your email address. So go ahead and check your email and click that link and then the app will be loaded and you'll be logged into your brand new account. So once you're logged in, the very first screen you'll see is called the Message Center. On this page, you'll find cards with important information about your account, your farm bot, and news such as new feature announcements. In the future, look for the blue badge in the main app menu to see when new messages are available. And when you're finished with a message, you can press the X button in the top right of the card to dismiss it. So let's go ahead and dismiss this welcome card. And now in the second card, we see that you need to finish setting up your account by telling the app which version of FarmBot you have. Once you make your selection, we'll populate your account with some new tools, sequences, and more so you can get to using your FarmBot faster. So go ahead and make your selection and then dismiss this card. At this time, there may still be other cards in the message center, but we're going to go ahead and continue our overview of the app. So you'll notice along the top of the app that there's two dark bars. The topmost bar is called the status ticker, and this is where you'll see incoming messages from your farm bot when it's doing operations and activities. Because we haven't connected our farm bot yet, we see that there's no logs currently available. In the second bar, the dark gray bar, this is the main navigation of the app. So we have the various pages here, farm designer, controls, device, etc. And this is where you can navigate between the various pages of the app for the different functions of programming your farm bot. If you're using the app on your phone or a small tablet, note that the main navigational links will be moved into this side menu instead of displayed across the top. In the following videos, we'll take deep dives into each of these pages, but for now we'll move on with the general overview. The final items in the main navigation are the connectivity indicator, the sync status indicator, the e-stop button, and the account menu. You can click the connectivity indicator to view more information, and because we haven't connected our FarmBot yet, the diagnosis is that the browser is connected, but there's no FarmBot currently connected. You'll see that the e-stop button is currently grayed out and disabled. That's again because the bot has not been connected, and so there's nothing to emergency stop. In the account menu, you have a button to log out, a button to view the documentation, and also go to your account settings. And every once in a while, we add and remove links from this place, so you can always check back as the app changes over time. In the account settings page, we have several different widgets to change your email address or the name on your account, change your password, various settings to change the experience within the app, such as changing what language the app is displayed in or what time format you use. There's an option to delete your account as well as export your account data. So as you're clicking through the app right now, you might notice that there's not a whole lot of functionality available. And again, that's because we haven't connected our FarmBot yet. So let's go ahead and connect our FarmBot in the next video and we'll see what we can do with some of these pages.